Hello friends, welcome again to the world of maths by MEA. This one is again a golden formula that is a break problem time and speed distance. One of the most important concepts for CAT, JAT, IFT, SSE and other aptitude examination. If you have not solved the question, I would say please pause the video and solve this question. I hope you have paused the video and solved the question or at least try to solve ka. So let's start concept first then we'll check the solution and one homework. Okay, the break problem is not a problem of maths, but it's a problem of physics. That is nothing but the force. It's quite easy. We have to use Newton's formula for the equation. We have the first formula that is V is equal to U plus AT. Because when we apply the break, we apply the force. The second formula is nothing but S is equal to UT plus half AT square. And the third formula is V square is equal to U square plus 2as. Break problem is nothing but the third formula. In the break problem, we have u is the initial speed, v is the final speed which is always 0. So if we put v is equal to 0, we have nothing but u squared plus 2as is the right hand side. From here, we can say the u squared is equal to minus 2as. 2 is constant, minus goes with the minus a. That is nothing but a retardation. So we know u square that is the initial velocity is equal to retardation that is minus a into the s is the displacement. So if I retardation is constant, if I say the break is constant for the ideal condition, u square is directly proportion to the s that is displacement. So we can say u1 upon u2 whole square is equal to s1 upon s2. If we apply the same break, then the velocity upon velocity square is equal to distance upon distance or the displacement upon displacement. So this one is a golden formula one. If we cover the same displacement, then our retardation is nothing but u1 upon u2 that is from the same things S square is equal to retardation one upon retardation two. But in general, we are going to use this formula always. So this one is our golden formula of the day, which one is Velocity 1 or the speed 1 upon speed 2 that is the initial speed whole square is equal to displacement upon displacement. So we have to use this one. Now solve our question. In our question, the initial velocity u1 is 60. We have displacement of 10 though we have different unit. Since we have a ratio formula u1 upon u2 whole square is equal to s1 by s2. In the displacement formula, no need of the unit we have the 60 kilometer and we have nothing but what nothing given we have u2 is not given what is the displacement this one is the meter and this one is 25 meter according to question since we have the same unit of displacement one displacement two we can find the velocity in the same unit of the kilometer per hour now put the values we have 60 upon x whole square is nothing but 10 upon 25 so this one is nothing but 3600 upon x square is equal to 10 by 25. So x square from here we can say is nothing but 25 into and this to this cancel 36 into 10. So x is nothing but root over of this one. So we have 5 into 6 root 10. So answer is nothing but 30 root 10 kmph kilometer per hour is the answer of this question. And we have this is as a golden formula. We can use this one as a golden formula if we have break and if it not written. Agar ye nahi bhi likha hua hai, to we have Newton's third equation derivation. This one is the learning of the day golden formula. Okay, now it's a time for homework. So this one is your homework. I would say please pause the video and post the answer in the comment. Okay, God bless you. Happy learning. Stay tuned and bye bye. Hi guys, do subscribe our channel and. Hit the bell icon to never miss out any update.